The following program is sponsored by Samuel Onuaha Ministries partners and viewers. How sinless night, Lord, I said favor to me. Visit it in the next 72 hours. Okay. Guys, we are praying now. Gone. The thing just disappeared. Are you just looking like that? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours to live. Rent money near and now, near and good tongue. Ah, no. Testimony shall be permanent. I don't know what you're believing God to do in your life. I want you to know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Give your praise. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I see you traveling to nations of the earth. I see you going to places all over the world. I see you ministers of the gospel going on national and international television. Now stay tuned as Sam Anoha ministers to you and reveal to you the power of God that is able to change your life and bring you joy, peace, health, and supernatural abundance. Now get ready for God to touch you with his miracle working power. And here is your host, Sam Anoha. Praise God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We have been talking about the blessings of Abraham. In Galatians 3, 13 and 14, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law by becoming a cause for it is written, cause is everyone that hangeth on a tree so that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith, praise God. My God, that's so awesome. Now, the word bless means an empowerment for you to prosper. The blessing is an anointing, it's an endowment, it's God's supernatural ability that he put on you to begin to do what your natural ability cannot do, glory be to God. It's an empowerment for you to succeed. For you to prosper. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. The Bible said the blessings of the Lord. It make it rich and add no sorrow. The blessing make it you. It pushes you. It helps you to accomplish things. That in the natural there is no how you could do it. Praise God. But the blessing empowers you. Praise God. And the moment we become a Christian. The moment we become born again. The moment we accept Jesus. As our Lord and Savior, we enroll into the school of blessing. That blessed life, praise God. In the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, the Bible says from the living Bible, it says now that we are in Christ, that we are the true descendant of Abraham and all the promises that God made to Abraham belong to us. What is he saying? It's not saying that we have replaced the Jewish race. No, no, no. Rather, he's saying the same blessing that God gave to Abraham. That same blessing that same anointing, that same empowerment, that same endowment, that same supernatural ability that God put on Abraham to do what his natural ability could not do is the same blessing God Almighty that he has given to you. In other words, when I met Abraham, he was just a solitary person. He was just one person. He was a nobody. But when the blessing came up on Abraham, the Bible says he was, whatever he had, maybe that one thing that was nothing, I multiplied it. His land was like dead, but I turned that dead ground, I turned that dead situation into the garden of Eden. As I was coming on, on this uh, studio today, the Spirit of the Lord began to talk to me. He said, there are businesses right now. You are just barely making it. You are at a place right now, but I'm going to Put, he said, the blessing is coming on your business. And when this blessing come on your business, just like Abraham. By the way, Abraham was a businessman. And also, I feel that a, so, 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 that a lot of entrepreneurs right now, you are watching me now. And you're like, my goodness, what is this guy saying? I'm saying that whatever you have, it may be very little right now. It may be insignificant. But the blessing is going to transform it and take it to another dimension. The blessing is going to take the little thing you have 
up right now and it's gonna multiply. Oh God, I hear that word. I'm trying to get that word out. I hear the word multiplication. God say, I will multiply what you have. I don't care what it is. I don't care how small it is. It don't have to be big. But listen to me. When the blessing get on that storm, it's gonna blossom. The Bible says Abraham was just one. When I met him, God said, when I met him, he said, look unto Abraham, the same rock that you came out of. The same rock you came out of. Look at him. Ask Abraham what I did with him. When I met him, he was just one. Whatever he had was not plenty. But when I bless him, it multiplied. There's somebody you are watching me right now. I'm telling you, your business is getting ready to multiply. As I was coming, the Spirit of God was talking to me about, you know, entrepreneurs today. I'm going to multiply your business. I'm going to turn you into uh, an international phenomenon. I'm going to turn you into a global market. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, I'm going to open doors for you you supernatural open door nation will be coming i keep hearing this all i keep hearing it all the time why i'm gonna check what you got that is little i'm gonna check what you got that is one and i'm gonna multiply there are people men of god pastors watching me right now what you have right now look little that congregation look little everything look little but the blessing of god is getting ready to touch on that few you got and i see god here you know multiplying it. my god i feel the anointing of of the Holy Ghost. Listen, we're going to take a quick break. And when I come back, I will show you how the blessing of God is going to take you to another dimension. Watch this and I'll be right back. And the Lord asked me to prepare a special package. It's called Threefold Redemption Package. Threefold. Our Threefold Redemption Package, also known as Third John 2 Prosperity and Healing Package. By the way, I have it here. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I need the other camera to help me capture this. It's our Threefold Redemption Package. And then he gave me this special rainbow prayer cloth. Rainbow prayer cloth. The Bible says, when I see the rainbow, it was a covenant that Noah, God, entered with Noah in the book of Genesis chapter 9 verse 13. He said, when I see the rainbow, I will remember that covenant of health and fortune because God told uh, uh, Noah in the book of Genesis chapter 9, he said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish. I will, re I will restore to you everything you have lost, your lost health, your lost prosperity, your lost uh, fame, God said, I'll restore them back to you. Listen to me. Call that number on the screen right now and request for your third John 2 prosperity and healing package, also known as your threefold redemption package. Discover why Christ died on the cross. If you are believing God for household salvation, you really need this. If you are believing God for healing, the doctor say they can't help you. Call that number and receive your healing today by faith. If you believe in God for financial breakthrough, especially real estate, I believe God is gonna show you some things. Praise God. I'm so excited. Call that number. Right now receive your threefold redemption package by the way it's free of charge call that number the 1877 number and press the number three button and receive it right now in jesus name welcome back i am so excited we have been talking about the blessings of abraham and how the blessing have the capacity to turn your wasteland into the garden of eden isaiah chapter 51 verse 1 and uh, 51 1 2 to 3 say look unto abraham your father i called him from afar and i blessed him the bible says he was one when i called him but when i blessed him i multiplied him and i believe with all of my heart that are business people watching me right now what you have right now is not significant you know you look little i mean you're not on a global market yet but the blessing is getting ready to turn that one store you got that one product into multiple product because it's gonna multiply as i was coming the spirit of lord say i want you to speak to businessmen people that want to do business with God. God is giving you the ideas, insight, and concept. He's going to put the Toshia anointing, that Toshia wisdom, the wisdom from above. Listen to me. He's going to come under your business and he's going to multiply it. I see people right now through the eyes of the Spirit, God is bringing you into global market. Praise the Lord. Because of the blessing. He said, look unto Abraham. I called him from afar. And I bless him. When I met him, praise God, he was just one person, one person. But when the blessing came upon him, 
I multiply him. I made him a nation. Praise God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As we begin to look at this blessing today, we, as we begin to look at the blessing of Abraham, Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 is a photographic depiction of what the blessing entails. So I want you to go with me to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 1 to 14. The last time we look at verse 1 and 2, and today I'm going to concentrate on verse number 3. In, De in Deuteronomy 28, the Bible says here, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandment, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken, uh, hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, blessed shall thou be in the field. Glory be to God. As I started looking at this, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Of course, we've already talked about this, that if you will hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, if you will obey his word, you know, a lot of people think I'm talking about the Ten Commandments. I'm not talking about the Ten Commandments here. I'm talking about getting hold of the word of God. I'm talking about, uh, you know, obeying the word, doing the word according to the book of uh, James 1, 22, not just becoming a hearer, but a doer of the word. I'm talking about Joshua 1, 8, that if you will meditate upon the word of God praise God day and night that you will make your way prosperous and you have good success I'm talking in the book of Psalm 1 verse 3 the Bible says that you're gonna chew on the word and you're gonna be ever prosperous ever blessed prosperous and successful praise God getting hold of the word doing what the word say do not just hearing the word and talking about it I'm talking about becoming a doer of the word the Bible said that every Everything you do shall prosper. God is saying here that if you become a doer of the word, then this blessing is going to overtake you. Glory be to God. Last, last time we talked about the blessing of overtaking you. But now he says here, and you will be blessed in the city, blessed in the field. You know what? To be blessed in the city, blessed, it doesn't matter where you live. Glory be to God. It doesn't matter where you are. You are going to be blessed. I'm telling you, one of the things the Spirit of the Lord began to show me, said there are people that will be watching you today. They live in a city that the gate is shut spiritually. Now you may not understand this until you go with me to the book of Acts chapter 12. Remember when Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter was locked up in prison the bible said that the church were praying with us season an angel entered into the prison yard and when an angel got in there the chain was broken and the angel told him to get up and then of course they passed the first word they passed the second word the bible said when they get to the iron gate the iron gate that lead to the city the gate open by itself a call. There is something about the gate in the city. You see, in every city, there is an iron gate. That's why you see some people, no matter what they do, they can never prosper beyond that gate. Maybe you've been able to pass the first word. Maybe you've been able to pass the second word. But there is always an iron gate. And you need an angelic presence to open it for you. Genesis chapter 24 verse 40 says, The God whose I am will send this angel to prosper your there is an angel of prosperity and one of the things that the angel of prosperity does is to unlock the iron gate that leads to your city in that city there is wealth for you there is prosperity for you but listen to me my god i feel the anointing of the holy ghost there are people today you are watching me there are businessmen there are people you have studied but you've not been able to get a good job you've not been able to get the raise that you deserve why because the gate is shot against you no matter what you do the gate is to shut. listen i want to pray with you the spirit of the lord says there are business people there are people today that i want to promote i want to bless them but they need to allow me to open this gate praise god the bible says, are they not all ministering spirits sent for to minister for the health of salvation one of your right as a child of god is to receive an angelic assistant praise god hallelujah and i'm telling you now i see gates opening right now praise god 
God. Why? The gate must be open in order for you to assess the wealth in a city. It doesn't matter where you live. As Are you a pastor? You are watching me. If that gate is not open, no matter what you do, fast from here to tomorrow, do every night, did you do all that you need to do? You will never assess the wealth of that land until that gate is open. And that's why the Bible is very clear according to the book of Matthew 19, 16. He said that I have given you the key of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. The keys of the kingdom, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. And today, I'm going to use the key of the kingdom to unlock the gate. And I speak to that gate right now to be open. My goodness, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The gate into your city is open right now. When the gate opens, things begin to happen. Praise God. In Isaiah chapter 60 verse number 11, the Bible says that your gate will always stand open so that nation will bring well to you. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Listen to me, your gate is now open. My God, as I was praying, I keep hearing cities. He said, begin to open cities now. My God, I feel the anointing. I want you to call today and mention your city. I want to pray for people today. I want to pray for businesses today. The Spirit of God said, when you call, mention your city. It's very important because I need to hear your city. I want to come in agreement with you. Two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything that we shall ask. It shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. You're going to call me. The number is on the screen right now. Call and mention your city. My goodness, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As I begin to pray, the Holy Spirit showed me New York and I began to see Brooklyn. My goodness, there are so many people, some businesses there. There is a person you are watching me right now. You've done everything you know to do. If I see a medical doctor, you know, you are a doctor, but you don't even have any servants. Your money is going into one thing after the other. Why? You make money, but you cannot save anything. All kinds of problems, all kinds of stuff. The lifestyle you are living, by the time you're done, you're never going to have anything. The Lord want to open that gate because something is happening even in the spiritual realm. There are so many businesses, people right now. Your business have not been able to thrive in this city. I keep here in Brooklyn, New York. I keep here in Bronx. I keep here in, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, I keep here in Manhattan. I'm here in Queens, glory to God. I'm here in different cities in Florida, glory be to God. I see Lord Angeles. You are watching me right now. I see so many people you are watching in the name of Jesus. I see Houston, Texas. You are watching. I see United Kingdom. There are cities there. Call in now and tell me your city. That gate is opening right now. The Bible say when they get to the iron gate that lead to the city, this, the iron, he said the, the, the gate opened by a shepherd called uh, Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. I said before you an open door, no man will be able to close it. Let me tell you something. I said that gate opening right now. God is showing me places even in South Africa. I see Johannesburg. I see the gate of that city opening up right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, call in now. You have a business in that city. I need you to call me. Mention your city because that gate got to be open. The Bible says you are blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed going out and coming in. Your city, ah, the gate is open now in the name of Jesus. You are going to call me right now. I want you to pick up that phone and I want you to call me. If you are a business owner today, you have a business in that city and that business is not thriving the way you want it to travel. Maybe you are in a career. You're not getting the promotion that you deserve. You've not received the breakfast. You know, there is a gate that needs to be opened in the spirit realm. And I'm going to begin to pray for you. The moment you call me, I'm not, I don't have the time to talk about it right now. But if you go to the book of Isaiah chapter 45, the Bible talk about the iron gate. It talk about the bronze wall that I'm going to cut through it. And then it talk about the wealth, the, the, you know, the wealth that is hidden in secret places. Glory be to God. There is a king seated there. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In Jeremiah 1, 18 and 19, the Bible said that I've made you this day, fortified city, an iron pillar and a bronze wall against the king of Judah, against the priest, against the priest and the people. They will fight against you. The Bible said they are fighting you now. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't believe you too, beloved, leave it. They've been fighting against your business. They've been fighting against your marriage. They have been fighting against your victory. They have been fighting against your success. But my Bible said they will not prevail against you. And today we are going to pass judgment to that king and the nobles according to the book of Isaiah.
Isaiah chapter, uh, according to Gen uh, uh, Psalm 149, verse 6, he said, let the high praises of the Lord be in your mouth. It's like a two-edged sword in your hand. We're going to bring judgment to that king. Whatever that is standing in front of your prosperity, crumble today. We're going to crush it. My God, that gate is going to be open. I'm going to use the key of the kingdom, and we're going to open that gate. My God, let me tell you, your days of poverty is over. Your days of barely making it is over. Your days of living from hand to mouth is over. Your days of doing stuff and no result is over. Your days running a ministry that is not prospering is over. The gate is going to be open. But I need you to call me right now. Two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything. It shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. There is nothing absolutely too difficult with God. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou be removed. And do not doubt in his heart, but believe that whatever he said, he shall have what he said. We are speaking to that mountain. Now, my God, I feel the anointing. You must call the number on the screen. There are business. If you have a business in any city that I have mentioned, you need to call me now. And let's believe God so that you can begin to thrive again. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Listen to me. I want you to watch this and I'll be right back to speaking to your life. Call the number on the screen now and let me know your city and I'm going to come in agreement with you. Watch this. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. It's so good to be back here again today with some of this awesome and amazing testimonies from friends and partners from around the world. And so today, I am so excited to share these testimonies with you. And the first one is from Miss Berry. And she said, Praise the Lord, my testimony is this. I was believing God to get a new car for a long time. And not just any car, but my dream car. And so in one of Pastor Sam's meeting, he asked everyone in that meeting to write what they want God to do for them, specifically on a sheet of paper. I did, and my number one request was my dream car of a Mercedes. Few months later, I got favored by this car company, and my Mercedes Red in color was supernaturally given to me. It's a miracle. Thank you, Lord. What an awesome testimony from Miss Berry. I want you to know that this is a good soil. People are testifying every day. So I don't know what you believe in God to do in your life, but I want you to know that this is not just a word-based ministry. This is also a praying ministry, and prayer is one of our priority. So write us today. We would love to come in agreement with you. Until next time, this is Precious Diamond on Noah saying thank you so much for allowing me into your home as I take you back to Pastor Sam on Noah. God bless you. Deuteronomy 28 verse number 3 is a clear depiction of the blessing right there. It's a bless. Look at it here. It's a bless shall there be in the city and bless shall there be in the field. Not only in that city, your field. I don't care what you do for a living. See, that field represents your profession. I don't care if you're a nurse. I don't care if you're a doctor. I don't care if you're a lawyer. Listen to me. Just because your name is called doctor does not mean you are prosperous. I know many doctors that are not successful. Praise God. And I'm telling you, but when the blessing of God is upon your life, you're going to succeed in everything that you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Listen to me. It's important for you to know this. When the blessing of God, the Bible says you'll be blessed in your field that means your career whatever God have called you to do when you begin to do that then the blessing of God will be on it praise God hallelujah it doesn't matter what you do I don't care what you do for a living that's your field I don't care maybe God have called you to preach the gospel the blessing of the Lord will be on your life and you're gonna prosper you're gonna be successful it doesn't matter what you do for a living I mean in the natural I know there are some career that don't look all great but I'm telling you I have seen God I, that was a man that was just you know he just cut grass for people and he got one contract they pay him three million dollars all he does was just cutting grass. Can you imagine that? The blessing of God was upon his life. He's making more money than some medical doctors. So it doesn't matter what you do for a living. When the blessing of God is upon your life, I'm telling you, you are going to prosper. Do you know KFC, what he was doing? He was just frying chicken. I mean, just ask somebody, what did he do? I'm frying chicken. It looked like he's 
very, you know, you know, doesn't really make a lot of sense in the natural. But when the blessing of God get on that man today, he worth a billions of dollars. It doesn't matter what you do. God said that you are blessing the city, blessing the field. I'm going to bless your field, your career, whatever you do for a living. When the blessing of God come on that stuff, I'm telling you, you're going to explode. And I'm telling you, right, whatever you do for a living today, I want you to call. Let me know what you do because the blessing is going to come on you. I'm going to agree with you today and we're gonna believe God and use the keys of the kingdom to unlock that city where you live and God begin to prosper you like you've never seen before praise God listen to me I cannot uh, end this broadcast without showing you the man that you need to meet today his name is Jesus the Bible says Christ have redeemed us from the cause of the Lord he's our Redeemer his name is Jesus in order for you to receive this blessing you must meet him there is no two ways about it he is the way he is the road the truth and the light nobody comment to the father but by him you must pass through Jesus to be enrolled into the school of the blessed life I want to give you an opportunity right now to meet him I want you to just repeat after me right now say wonderful Jesus I repent of my sin I believe in my heart that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. And I believe that on the third day, you resurrected from the dead. And I'm asking you now to come into my heart and I will make you my Lord and personal savior. If you prayed that prayer, meaning I believe you are born again, praise God. And you have now been officially enrolled into the blessed life glory be to god listen to me i'm so excited i want you to call me right now let me know that you have accepted christ into your life praise god and we're gonna rejoice with you in jesus name my god i feel the anointing of the holy ghost welcome into the family into that abrahamic famous family the same blessing now you need to get in the word of god and begin to find what belong to you in Jesus name praise God I love you so much I want everyone watching today to call me right now and let me know that you are watching I want to give you opportunity to become a partner praise God you know for you to walk in this blessing one of the things that the Bible says you know it says, if you will fully obey the Lord your God if you will fully obey the Lord your God praise God, then all this blessing will come upon you and overtake you praise God the Bible says, if you be willing and obedient you shall eat the best of the land. The Bible says, if you obey and serve him, you shall spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. The Bible says, prove me now and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour blessings that you have known me enough to contain. Now, I want you to open your heart right now and allow the Spirit of God to speak to you about becoming a partner, about planting, connect to this ministry with the seed right now. I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this ministry, into this fertile ground that is winning souls all over the world. Whatever that will leave your hands will never leave your life. It will go into your future where it multiplies. Praise God. I want you to pick your phone now. Plant a seed into this ministry. I'm telling you, there are people right now, the Lord is speaking to you about the seed to sow into this fertile ground. And whatever he tells you, nothing is too big, nothing is too little. Just connect Connect with God's word right now because whatever leave your hand will never leave your life. It goes into your future where it multiplies. Go ahead and obey God because the Bible says if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the best of the land. He said, no, you have to obey the word of the living God. Do the word. Become a doer of the word, not just a hearer only. Of course, the Bible says you deceive yourself. But when you hear the word, you put the word to practice. There is no devil in hell that can stop you. So the preceding program was sponsored by Samuel Onuaha Ministries, partners and viewers.